Welcome in to Scotland. <laughs> I feel like I should have today with me Robbie Williams, maybe a bit of Justin Bieber, Bruce Springsteen, but I have to say it is better than that, who we have lined up for you today. I live out there in a developing world where they know so much more about me than my home countrymen know about them. That is the first point. The second point is about the ability to adapt to and deal with change. The rising economies are seeing so much change every day and the biggest mistake we did in the West was to invent the words developed and developing economies. Because if you're developed, then you're done. It's on a business level and I see that we say often that in, West, in the West time is money while in Asia, time is a weapon because they know time is money for us. I think it's um, we've been very positive about China, That's which is great. Um, but I think maybe we've been too positive. I mean, it's uh, we we touched on the demographics. Demographics are going to be a huge issue. Uh, let's talk about China being the first developed country that will grow old before it grows rich. And this is a re this is a reality. I think from a legal structure perspective, China's got problems. Uh, from a we talk about the, the politics in China, there's also sort of challenges there. So I think it's not all rosy. Because uh, you say that everything's politics in China. It's one of the largest economies in the world. They have a lot of, in, I would say, firepower in order to, to invest. And they're combining this. How should we deal with that? It's state capitalism. Because if you don't agree with their politics, hmm, we will hit you either on the, on the investment side, or the funding side, or the product side. How, how should we go about that? Not only develop, when you develop the economies towards the, the developing economies, I think it's, we, one thing we should notice is also what is going on between the developing economies. Yeah. For example, you know, China and Russia and Central Asia are establishing a very much stronger business relationships because of the geopolitical political, uh, importance and also the natural resources around China. Uh, and so, so, so these relationships are trending tremendously, I think, I think if there's some way that a country like Norway can get involved, very much as, as you know, guys mentioned,